Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Scum. Now today, the game got updated and as per usual, we are going to check out all the new items, features and any and all other thingamajigs that have been added with this brand new update. And today, we are going to start with seat switching inside cars. Alright, so here we are in the car. Now the default keys for switching our seats is F1, F2, F3 and so on depending on how many seats the car has. So for example, we are in the F1 position which is the driver's seat and if we want to ride shotgun, if we press F2, we are going to jump in the passenger seat. Then we can jump back into the driver's seat with F1. Now if you press F3, let's see if we can go in the back. Oh, we can go in the back indeed, but we do not have an animation for it. And then F4 is over here. Now, one thing we're not going to be able to do is jump from inside the car here in the back. So if we press F6, we're not going to be able to jump in the back. But we can switch between the seats inside of the car. We don't have an animation from, for front to back yet, but we have an animation for side to side. But as I said, we cannot jump out of the car so switch our seat from here to here we're not gonna be able to do this right we're not gonna be able to jump from in there here so this is i guess f6 so f7 no i think oh here we go no f5 now this is f5 and this is f6 there we go and inside we have f1 f2 f3 and f4 we can now also find animal carcasses around the map in the desolated areas of the map. I'm guessing up in the snowy bits. Now we can search these carcasses and of course there is a chance of finding or not finding meat. And if we do find the meat, the quality is going to vary from, from carcass to carcass, I presume. Just like with the tree trunks, we can find some maggots or the grasshopper or we can't. We can find one in good shape or one in very, very bad shape. So we have a couple of options now, we have mushrooms, we have the tree trunks, and now we have the carcasses, so, you know, food should be plentiful. And we can also fish, if we have a fishing rod in a river or a lake nearby. We also have a new point of interest, and it is located down south in Sector Z3, and it is the town of, and I'm gonna butcher its name, it is the town of Rogoznica. And of course we are going to fully explore this area next time because as per usual when a new point of interest comes out I like to take my time with it, go through it, show my appreciation for it and uh, explore it as much as I can. Of course we have a ton of bug fixes as well and we have a couple of quality of life additions. The most notable ones being improve the server stability of course but check this out. They have added new variations of the dirt bikes and they have added a winter clothing item for prisoners that start in cold areas on the island. So if we get the short end of the stake and we spawn straight up into the snow, we're now going to get this winter clothing. And of course, there are some new admin stuff. I'm not going to pretend to understand the admin stuff because I've never used it. So I'm not going to go into it. Uh, they've introduced some new features to the admin panel. And, and whatnot. But there you go, this is the gist of the update. We've gotten ourselves seat switching inside of the cars, we have some new carcasses, we have a new point of interest, a bunch of bug fixes, and of course a lot of quality of life additions. Uh, but there we go, that's about it for today's update. I hope everybody enjoyed, in case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Make sure to subscribe, thank you so much for hanging out, and I will see you in the next one with some more video games.